Zapier tutorial for beginners, how to use Zapier step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with Zapier. So let's get into it. Now, what is Zapier and how exactly can you use it for your benefit? Well, Zapier is a platform that enables you to connect all of your platforms all together and automate all of your businesses. Because when I was running my own e-commerce business last year, I really had a lot of difficult time with, you know, doing day-to-day -day tasks, sending orders out to my suppliers, then sending, you know, detail and, you know, detailed info to my customers. But Zapier helps you automate all of that and you can get started for free. So to get started, simply head on over to Zapier.com. Once you are on Zapier.com, simply click on sign up over here. And once you have clicked on sign up, the sign up process is very simple. You can use Facebook or Microsoft to get started. You can even use Google or you can just simply enter your work email and first and last name and get started for free. They have a 14 day free trial with some free forever core features. So I'm just going to continue on with my Google account over here. And this is just to reduce the time that I spend signing up. But you can see after that, you can customize your experience by adding what kind of business you are in. So let's say that I am a business owner and I have one to 49 employees and I can continue. Now, the best part about Zapier is that not only can you connect, you know, a few apps, but you can automate a very large business as well. Even if your business is, you know, having hundreds and thousands of sales. So first off, we're going to link what kind of applications are you using? So let's say I'm using ClickUp and maybe i'm also using wix so i'm just gonna search for it they have over 5,000 applications so you can really link any kind of app that you want now let's say with my ClickUp, i also am using slack so let's say i'm using that for communication or maybe i'm using google sheets to manage you know my numbers so you can connect any kind of app that you want maybe i'm also using docusign to you know sign my documents so once you've done that, you are simply going to click on finish setup, or you can even skip this step and later on add these, but I just like to add them when I'm signing up. Now, once you've done that, your Zapier account has been created. From here, you can see on your dashboard, there is a navigation panel on your left, where if you hover your mouse over it, you have your dashboard, then you have your Zaps. So Zaps are the automations that enable you to simplify your workflow to automate your business. Then you also have things such as transfers. So transfers are going to be a different form where you can connect to applications and you can select certain data which you want to move and transfer data from one app to another. Now, this is a super helpful application, especially if you're bridging between two platforms, then this is going to be the app for you because if you just click on new transfer over here, let's say that you have, even if you have a fixed schedule, you can do schedule it or you can do a run once. So let's say I'm just moving platforms from one platform to another, then I'm going to go into create new transfer and I can select from my, uh, you know, platform. So let's say that I am wanting to move my Excel so let's say I want to move it to click up and let's say that the row data, I want to add it and I want to create a new list based on the data that is present in the row. So just like that, you're going to create your automation and then you can click on next over here. Now, once you click on next, it will actually ask you for permissions on your application. So you have to connect your Microsoft Excel and you also have to uh, connect your ClickUp account. But below that, you also have my apps where you can begin adding your apps. Then you can see the total apps that you can create. So on the free version, you can create five free apps and manage over 100 tasks. Now I'm going to just delete these apps for now because I'm going to show you guys later on how to create your own zap. So uh, now once I go back into my dashboard, you can see you have some recommended zap. So get new Gmail emails as Slack channel messages. Maybe you want to, uh, you know, be notified of your email account whenever you're using Slack as your communication platform. So you can do that. You have a bunch of different templates available. And to get started, you simply click on create zap on the top left of your screen. And once you click on create zap, you can see it will ask you for a trigger. So let's say that whenever a new event is created, I will continue. So this is going to be the trigger. So whenever a new event is created on my Google Calendar, and I'm going to sign in over here to my Google Calendar. So I can, uh, let's say I want to use, this is the Google Calendar that I want to be notified of. So I'm just going to click that one. And I will click on allow. And whenever a new event is created, I'm going to continue then what do I want? So what is going to be the trigger? 
it's going to be from my email address and I'm going to continue on over here. And you can choose to test your trigger as well, but I'm just going to click on over here, click on test, and I'm, I'm just gonna skip the test because we're just doing this as a tutorial, but you can actually, you know, test out how it's going to appear once it is triggered. So I'm just going to continue on. So what is going to be the action? Whenever a new event in my Google Calendar is created, let's say I want to get a message on Slack, I want to send a, I want to add a reminder, continue and then i'm going to choose my slack account over here you can connect your account from over here now my session is expired so i'm just going to continue on to slack over here and connect my slack account and i will click on allow over here and you can choose whichever slack business you want so i want to connect this to maybe my uh, pink company business so whenever a new calendar event is created on my gmail account i want to be notified in the pink company business black that i have but after that i'm going to click on continue and then the action that i want the text that i want to send is so i want to uh you know get this message and then maybe i also want to uh get a description or you know the date or summary of that google event so whatever the summary of the event will be it will appear over here you can choose to add that or you can choose to just add the time and date of the event you can also enter when you should be reminded of the event and remind who so who in the specific uh slack users that are in that chat should be reminded so i'm just going to add myself and then I'm going to click on continue and then I'm just going to skip the test, but that is how simple and easy it is to set up your own ZAP, which will enable you to automate your entire business. Now, once you have done all of that, you're simply going to click on publish and click on publish and turn on. And now my ZAP is live. So now if I edit my calendar or create new events in my calendar, I will be notified in the Slack pink company business. So it will give me a reminder message. Now you can do this with any kind of applications. They have so many applications to choose from. Plus, if you take a look at their pricing and plans, uh, you can create single step ZAPs with no code editors for free for over 100 tasks per month. Then the starter version starts at $19.99. The professional version starts at $49 and the team version starts at 299 dollars where in the starter version you can automate up to 750 tasks per month and on the professional version you can automate up to 200 tasks and in terms of creating zaps on the free version you can create five free single step zaps on the starter version you can create 20 and from the professional version which starts at 49 dollars you can create unlimited zaps so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.